Well, happy Friday to you. We've made it through another work week. Time to get excited. The weekend right around the corner. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. And of course, it is that time of the afternoon where you find out exactly what is happening out there in the tropics. What's up out there? Do we have anything heading our way? Well, the answer is no for that last question. Nothing heading towards southeast Texas. However, there are some changes that I want to go over and let you know what could potentially happen over the next several days. And I also want to track our one tropical system that we do have out there. We do have some updates on Philippe. Not long ago, it was a tropical storm, but as of the latest advisory, it is no longer officially a tropical system. It's lost some of those tropical characteristics as it moves north into those cooler waters. And so now it is considered post tropical cyclone Philippe. It is still pretty close to Bermuda, although the tropical storm warnings have been discontinued for Bermuda, but there still could be some rain and also some gusty wind and some large waves impacting portions of Bermuda. As we go into the weekend, though, we are concerned that post tropical cyclone Philippe could bring some impacts, maybe the threat for a little bit of flooding for parts of New England in the US and maybe up towards Nova Scotia. Before we get to that, let's talk about the current coordinates for post tropical Philippe and the current strength maximum sustained wind still around 50 miles per hour, and it is moving fairly quickly to the north northeast around 16 miles per hour pressure right at 1003 millibars still fairly disorganized at this point, but you can still see a big band of convection off to the east of Bermuda, some showers and storms north and west of Bermuda, but we do still have the potential for this system to bring some heavy rain to parts of the US. So by Saturday morning, it's going to have 60 mile per hour winds most likely as it pushes to the north. Then Saturday evening, Saturday night, it will be approaching the coast of northern New England, likely making landfall somewhere around eastern Maine, maybe western portions of Nova Scotia and Canada being clipped. So that's going to be Saturday night, early Sunday, where it should still have winds around 50, possibly 55 miles per hour. So that means there could be some strong, potentially damaging wind hitting portions of nor the northeastern U.S. And also that means there could be some heavy rain that could lead to some flash flooding. Expecting anywhere from around a one to three inches of rain that could spread from parts of New York up through Boston and into portions of Maine and potentially parts of coastal Canada over around Nova Scotia. So this is going to be late Saturday into Sunday. That weather should start to deteriorate for parts of New England for the daytime hours on Saturday and then it will really start to go downhill Saturday night and Sunday morning as post tropical Philippe likely makes landfall. So we're not going to get anything here across Southeast Texas from it, but up into portions of Northern New England, definitely the threat for some heavy rain, gusty wind and those large swells that they're already starting to experience even now. The European model does take post tropical Philippe up into eastern Maine, most likely by Saturday night and Sunday morning. That's going to push it west of Halifax, Nova Scotia, off to the north and east of Boston. But even down towards Boston, NYC, there could still be a few inches of rain that will fall from the impacts of Philippe. So we'll still have to watch that one closely because it certainly could cause some problems, maybe some travel delays for parts of the Northeast US. So we are still tracking post tropical Philippe, but we also still have another potential system that we are closely monitoring. This one is way out in the far eastern Atlantic. And this is a tropical wave starting to push off the west coast of Africa. You can see that orange X there, and you can see the big band of convection, the area of showers and storms fairly disorganized right now. But as it moves out into the Atlantic, it is going to be pushing off to the west northwest, and there's only a low chance for development over the next 48 hours. But as we look ahead over the next seven days, over the next week, that chance goes up to a 50% shot for development into a tropical depression, tropical storm, or possibly even a hurricane. Yes, we are in the next to last month of our hurricane season, but we've still got some action out there. So that means you need to still stay alert. Don't let your guard down because we still could have a few more of these tropical systems messing with us before the end of hurricane season, which of course is not until the end of November. I want to show you this map because we did have that cold front push through the Houston area yesterday. That's going to be pushing out into the Gulf and hanging out 
for a while out there. Some of the models are indicating that we could have a little area of low pressure try to develop along that front by the middle of next week, and there's a tiny chance it could turn into something tropical. However, the models are not bringing it up our way, so even if it does develop, the chances for it messing with us a lot will be on the low side. However, I do want to show you this big swirl out in the eastern Pacific. That is Tropical Storm Lydia. Now it's not expected to cross Mexico and head our way, but we will have another cold front heading towards southeast Texas by the middle and end of next week. So some of the moisture from that tropical system in the eastern Pacific could actually get picked up by that next front and that could enhance or increase our rain chances by next Thursday and Friday. So we'll have to watch that closely, but right now it does not appear that we're going to have that system moving our way and making landfall. So that is good news. However, we do still have to watch things closely because even though we are fairly late in the season, we've still got super warm water temperatures out here in the Gulf of Mexico well into the 80s. Normally, when you get towards the end of hurricane season, the water starts to cool off a little bit, but not the case this season. Water temps are still very warm, so if we were to get some action, a little something developing in the Gulf, there is that chance it could intensify quickly because that warm water acts as that fuel for those systems to develop, pop up, and strengthen in a hurry. It's already been a busy season. Even if we don't get anything else, we've already had 18 named storms, six hurricanes, three major hurricanes. That puts us above above normal for those named storms near average for hurricanes and major hurricanes and there could still be a few more to add to the list. Look at this. This is incredible. We've almost gone through this entire list of names that were slated for the 2023 hurricane season. Of course, the last system the last two systems we had out there were Philippe and Rena. Philippe, of course, becoming post tropical for today and Rena kind of fell apart a while back so we don't have to worry about that one but if we get that tropical wave coming off of the west coast of Africa to develop into a tropical storm the name would be Sean then we would just have Tammy Vince and a Whitney to get through for the rest of the season speaking of the rest of the season we've still got all the rest of October and all of November although typically historically the chance of these tropical cyclones developing as we get towards the end of October and especially November on the much lower side. However, don't let your guard down. Make sure that you stay alert. Make sure you have your hurricane action plan in place. Don't wait to the last minute, even though we are nearing the end of hurricane season. Just like I said, things can still happen quickly out there with that water in the Gulf, in the Caribbean, in the Atlantic, still super warm. So to keep track of everything, of course, keep it here every afternoon. We give you an update on what's happening out there in the tropics. Or if you're on the go, make sure you head to the App Store, search for Fox 26 and download and grab our Fox 26 weather app. All sorts of innovative, cool, fun, exciting, important alerts, features, weather videos on there that you can find. So make sure you grab that so you know exactly what's going on no matter where you are in town because I'm sure with the weather being so nice locally this weekend, you're going to be out somewhere in town. So enjoy yourself, stay safe, have a great weekend. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade.